Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and this is the first video in a multi-part tutorial on building Alexa skills with Twilio Autopilot. But before you go any further, please make sure that there isn't an updated version of this tutorial, and you can do that by checking the description. If you see a link to an updated video, stop watching this, click on that link, and watch the most current version. Nobody has time to watch outdated tutorials. Okay, with that, let's get back into it. So our topic is building Alexa skills with Autopilot, Twilio Autopilot. Autopilot is a new service from Twilio that makes it really easy to build cross-channel bots and digital assistants. So it's not just for building Alexa skills. You can use Autopilot to build um, SMS bots, um, Slack bots, Google Home or Google Assistant uh, assistance. We're talking about Alexa skills today, so we're going to focus on that. In a future video, I'll come back and um, talk about some of the other platforms as well. You'll need two things to do this. You'll need an account at uh, a Twilio account, and you'll also need an Amazon developer account. You can get the Twilio account, which is going to be where we're going to start, at www.twilio.com. And the uh, Amazon developer account, if you don't have one already, you can get it at developer.amazon.com. Once you have signed up at Twilio, you want to log in, and when you're logged in, go to this All Products and Services menu and find Autopilot there in the list. And when you click on that, it's going to take you to this screen that we're looking at here, getting started with Autopilot. And we're going to click uh, Create New Assistant, and uh, I'm going to call this Assistant Demo Assistant, just like that. Okay, and when you create an assistant, I'm not going to drill into all of this stuff. We're going to just move quickly through this process. I'll come back in a future video and, and talk through some of these things in more detail. But for right now, uh, once we do that, we've got our demo assistant. And the next thing that we want to do is we want to go down here to channels. And in channels, we want to select Alexa here. So this is the channel that we're going to be plugging into. Uh, no, I'll come back to the debugger later. Okay, and then what we need is we need this JSON down here. This is the Alexa interaction model. I'll show you what to do that. You just want to select all that, copy it, and then head over to developer.amazon.com. Leave the Twilio tab open and open a new tab in your browser uh, to go to developer.amazon.com and log in to the developer console. And when you log in, then you're gonna to go to uh, Alexa right here, this option. And then if you hover over your Alexa console menu option and select skills, that'll take you to your list of skills. If you've just signed up, you might not have any skills, um, but you're gonna go create skill here. And we're gonna call this demo skill. Like this and we're going to select custom and then create skill here and the next thing that we need to do is select a template we're just going to start from scratch so just choose this first one here and now we have our skills set up in the uh, developer console the Alexa Devel developer console and we want to take that interaction model that we copied from Twilio and we want to apply it here. So go down here to the JSON editor and then you're just going to select everything that's in the JSON editor and paste in what we copied from Twilio. And once you've done that, you want to change this text that says change this explanation, explanation, explanation. And we're going to change this to the invocation name, the name that's going to be used to start the skill up or to um, invoke the skill. And we're going to use demo skill for right now, uh, which is fine. And then um, once you've changed that, go ahead and save and then click build model. And while that's building, we're going to go set up the endpoint. So go back over to Twilio and then there is under the Alexa configuration here there's a URL that we need so copy that and then head back over to the Alexa developer console and find the endpoint down here and then we're going to select this HTTPS option here. We're not using Lambda for this and we're going to paste that URL in that we copied from Twilio and then here we need to select the second option. My development endpoint is a subdomain dot dot dot. And 
go ahead and choose that. Um, and then we're going to save this. So save the endpoints. And once it's saved and our interaction model is built, we can go over here to test and enable testing. And we'll test it out by just going open demo skill. This is your new task. Okay, and if you hear that, it is working. So this is coming over from Twilio, and I'll show you where that is. So if you go over here back to uh, Twilio and go to the task builder, when you set up a new assistant, it creates some defaults for you. And this hello world default task, and I'll talk about tasks more in the next video, but this hello world default task has a, a single action, and I'll also talk about actions more in the next video. And this action, the say action here, is speaking back this here. This is your new task, and that's what we heard over here. So it is all working. We've got a really super simple Alexa skill all wired up in a few minutes. We're going to um, we're going to stop for this first part with this, and then we'll pick up on the uh, the next video and get into this a little bit deeper. Uh, hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, please like this video. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those and I'll respond just as quickly as possible. And if you're not already subscribed to the Dabble Lab YouTube channel, please do subscribe. Thanks so much.